才能。Everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. It is my absolute pleasure to showcase to you for the first time on this channel a Figurama statue. Today's statue would not be possible if it wasn't for a good friend of the channel, Martin Meeks, who sent me this statue. Thank you so much. I normally hold up the base, flip it around, and show it to you, but not today. It's way too heavy because it's all one giant piece, so I have it on my electronic rotating table. We can see all along the base tons of debris and dust because of the clash that's going on in this moment and scene captured on the statue. The bottom round part of the base looks extremely elegant with the brass and silver type of paint job. And then all along here we will see some of the Hunter x Hunter symbols that are used in the alphabet in the world. I have to say that today is checking a box off of my bucket list as a collector because I've always wanted to see the quality and workmanship of a figure on my piece in person and man does it not disappoint. On the back of the statue is a very nice Easter egg because it showcases a Gungi board which has a very deep meaning it would take way too long to explain in a short amount of time. Spinning the statue over here on the left, you can see all the different textures and paint applications that bring that dust and cloud effect to life. Here is the pillar that is being crumbled from all the action going on in this moment and scene. This part will be attached to the base as well as the steel rod will help it to connect. Just like a human body, this is going to be the backbone of the statue that multiple different pieces will be connecting to to bring this diorama to life. I'm just super impressed by all the intentionality that's gone through the paintwork, even in something as simple as the rubble of a column. There was a lot of different layers of paint that went on there that made this look so realistic. The golden piece you'll see here is the beginning of the formation of the 100 type Guanyin Barasafa that's going to be seen in this statue. The large notch on the back and steel rod is what's going to help it connect itself to that large column. I want to take a moment to appreciate all the different battle damage that was intentionally sculpted onto the statue from all the different action going on and the blows being exchanged. The holes that you'll see here, all three of them, is where some of the hands will later be connected to this part. I will say how everything's coming together in this statue, it feels so safe and secure. Not all statues come together this nicely. Here comes the man himself, Isaac Netro. Upon first removing this from the package, I had to take a moment to pick my jaw up off the floor. Primarily what blew my mind is the paint application on the skin. If you look closely here, there's all sorts of aging and veins and how the muscles are being sculpted all throughout this. It is just incredible to see. I almost want to shut up so you can appreciate it, but I really can't keep my mouth shut because of how gorgeous it is. The notch and large magnet on the back is how he will attach to the piece that we just reviewed. The complete body does come in four different pieces. So we have both hands that were sculpted separately, as well as the main body, and then the head is removable. Removing this arm, I'll let you take a look and see how the shirt was painted. You'll see, of course, it's extremely dirty because of all the rubble that's flying around. And then again, let's take a look at the colorations of the skin. It just looks amazing. The statue did come with two different head sculpts. I want to go ahead and show you those up close. Other than the amazing paint job that we've seen on the skin already, I want to point out that I don't know how they did it, but if you look all throughout the head, you will see different beads of sweat that are painted on there. And of course, it's easily seen because he's quite a bald guy other than what he's got going on on top with his hair. Uh, it's just incredible how it shimmers and shines because of how much action he was going on. It makes perfect sense that he'd be perspirating during this time. In the second head sculpt, we will see that Netro's eyes are closed, so he's most likely praying. Here's a section where you can really see those beads of sweat dripping down. Like I said before, there's a large magnet attached to the backside of him, so he really does stay on there strong. 
Speaking of strong, here is one of four hands that will be included showcasing the 100 type Guanyin Baritzafa. On that end we just saw is where the hands will attach and on the other side is the joint with the steel rod coming outside and the paint job on this is just awesome to see. The mixture of the gold and silver really just make it pop and stand out. Like I mentioned before, the intentional sculpting is seen all throughout this as well where it does not look smooth and perfect. It does look like it has seen some battle. Every hand is sculpted in that palm strike type of stance and the coloration on it is very different from the arm in that it's just pure gold rather than a mixture of silver and gold. One of the things that I will praise Figurama for over and over again is they know how to create a statue that if you were to walk into a room and see it, it absolutely commands a presence and all of these palms or hands sculpted onto the statue help in making that possible. This one here is almost a carbon copy of my hand side by side. I see many statue companies that use magnets, but the size of these are just huge compared to the ones I've seen before. With all three attached, you can begin to see how dynamic this statue is at bringing this battle to life. Here we have the head sculpt for Meruem or King. Looking at his head straight on, it almost looks like he is rolling his eyes, but that is not the case. Once we install everything onto the statue, you'll see it fits perfectly for his stance and position. His body is going to come together in three different parts, just his head, main body, and tail. For being an ant, it's always ridiculous to see how muscular and toned he is. The paint application on them looks fantastic. You'll see that some parts have more of a flat paint tone on them, while others have more of a glossy look to it. The only point of this piece connecting to the statue is that notch and steel rod that you saw on the foot. All in all, there is so much hand painted details going in to the paint job on Meruem. And you can see even as you look right there at his neck, there's that one detail painted on there too. The tail here was sculpted perfectly, and every time I see it, it always reminds me of the tail that was used on the antagonist in uh, Dragon Ball Z named Cell. The stinger piece on the end does have a little bit of flexibility to it, so I'm not sure if it's made out of resin or PVC, but I'm really happy if it wasn't made out of resin so it's not as fragile. With everything connected, we'll go ahead and get him attached onto the base. As if this wasn't epic enough, we have one giant piece to go over and showcase. We have to take a step back because of how large this is. This hand right here further goes along with that statement I said before about how Figurama statues, when you see them all put together in a room, they command a presence. You see them and your eyes immediately go to them for how epic and dynamic they are. Short story time, as I mentioned before, the magnets are very strong on the statue and I take a statue apart multiple times while doing a review and as I was trying to pull this piece off, this tip here actually caught the side of my chest and uh, cut me a little bit. It was unexpected, but I was pulling, pulling, pulling and it finally came off and uh, just unexpectedly swiped me a little bit uh, through my t-shirt. One extremely cool thing that they included with the statue is going to be this folder and of course they have one of their standard wax seals on top. I'm a sucker for wax seals. I love them. But we're going to go ahead and open this up. Included first is our lovely certificate of authenticity. You'll see all sorts of little goodies here that further showcase that this is an authentic product. You got signatures, you got names, you got stickers and I'll let you go ahead and take a pause and read that if you need to. Now this is super cool. So I'm very comfortable with putting statues together personally, uh, but there are some people that are newer to statues. And so this is a guide that showcase all the different parts and where they go, where you should install them. Also, you had a topical view of the box. So if you ever have to repackage anything that you can easily do that. And here's some nice artistic shots of the statue. Awesome addition from Figurama. 
two more goodies were included. One of them is going to be this giant piece of artwork that you can display somewhere in your room. Uh, or if you're like me, I don't have room for that, so I'd probably just keep in the package. And then we have a collector's pin of the Figurama logo. Very cool. Again, I want to give a huge thank you and shout out to Martin Meeks for sending me this statue to review for the channel. It is a great honor to be able to share with everybody not only a Figurama statue, but a Hunter x Hunter statue. And all around, I had such a blast being able to see this in person. It was really priceless, and I have checked something off of my bucket list. For those that are new to my channel and enjoy statue unboxing content, I want to encourage you to hit that subscribe button and most importantly, notification bell so you don't miss my videos when they drop. And for everybody that continuously comes back to support my channel and the videos, thank you so much. I am so, so excited for the future and all the awesome statue unboxings we have to come. As always, everybody, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.